Cheers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by Mess Ludwig of Delirium. And today, we're going to be looking at another Revelation Cat beer. And uh, we reviewed the Revelation Cat Death Star about a month ago or so. And uh, it was really good. It's like Imperial stuff with vanilla, I believe. And uh, awesome stuff. A lot of you guys said we need to try this beer, so we're going to be reviewing it, which should be even better, and apparently, like, really good and also fairly limited, uh, which is the Revelation Cat Black Knight. And awesomely enough, we can't get this here, but Alex from Revelation Cat provided a sample for us to review, so that's, that's nice. <laughs> yep. um, but this beer is basically a big Imperial stout with 14% uh, that they brewed, all, uh, like, way back in 2011, aged it until 2012, and then it's going to be released like over the years for special occasions and stuff at the brew pub in Rome. And uh, it says here on the side, well, that's hard to read. Uh, Black Knight, sure you'd love to know. Black Knight, sure you'd love to know. But you're just going to have to find out because you're not going to get the recipe on the freaking uh, the bottle. And be aware of the 14%, he's going to mess with you. And this is bottle number 747 out of six, uh, 1,650 bottles. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to trying this, especially because you guys recommended it. So and we've seen some pretty intense. You have, I have, I have. It looks uh, pretty good online. So so let's huge beer. So let's get it cracked. And it's cool that it's aged since 2011. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, check it out. Get it cracked. Let's do it. So we got the Black Knight poured, and um, pitch black. Yep, pitch but black pour. As black as some of the stuff, but it's still nice and like really dark, a nice beige head. You can kind of smell it already. Oh yeah. So uh, let's check out the aroma. That's huge. <laughs> wow, you can definitely smell it's aged. It's got much like it's, it's very really pigments. balanced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You almost sounded high. <laughs> and that's crazy. It's so intense, but but balanced. Yeah. It it's got a lot of Shit. dark fruit. Uh, like the vineous qualities, I feel like when you age in Pearl Sides, you get a lot of that, but there's still a lot of chocolate coffee around this. Yeah, almost like vanilla uh, from that uh, sweetness. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet uh, uh, molasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's almost got lots of coffee and chocolate and, and vanilla, and like it smells really thick and syrupy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. I'm looking forward to it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Alex, for the beer. Wow, that's balanced. Whoa! And just coat your mouth right away. Wow, that's got a lot of stuff going on. The flavor goes like this, ping pong, ping yeah. pong, ping pong. Damn, that's good. I'm like, first up, I picked up sweet chocolate flavors, then it turned into licorice in the aftertaste right now. Yeah. I'm tasting dark fruit and coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> like coffee, uh, almost like smoke. Yeah. Uh, with, with wow, it's got a nice aftertaste. Mm -hmm. That just lingers. And that 14% is nowhere. <laughs> no, no. Interestingly enough, um, wow. It's it's like that that ping pong flavors just ping pong ball going all around, like tons of different flavors, and it's huge. It's not super thick, but it's one of the kind of syrupy uh, molassesy consistencies. It's sort of cream because I, yeah, I think it cools yeah. your mouth, give the, the sticky glossy sensation. Yeah. But oddly enough, it feels. Kind of easily drinkable for yeah. 14% beer. Exactly. It's so well hidden. Well, it's so well aged. Maybe that's the way to say it. But wow. The oh, oh that was the best in wine gum flavor, flavor there as well. Uh, like in that tip as well. And up front, I think you get some vanilla qualities to it as well. And mm. you get that sticky gloss in your lips. It's it's really like complex. So we've been sipping on the Black Knight by Revelation Cat and uh, huge stuff. Awesome and, ass stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, the flavors just go on and on when we're sitting talking. I was like, right now, picking up like almost maple syrup flavors. and Like there's so much going on. As we said, it's like a ping pong ball just hitting every like weird spectrum in Imperial South flavors. So pretty crazy. Um, especially considering it's non-barrel aged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is awesome. And I don't think there's any additive in here or anything. It's just like hops, water, malt, and yeast. There's no like coffee or anything. But as far as we know, because the recipe is secret. Once again, uh, awesome. we're talking about that this may have been extremely aggressive 
um, three years ago. When yeah, when they born. released Well, they bought it in 2009 and released it in 2012. So they aged yeah. the yeah. year on purpose yeah. already. Or but even though now, for with three years of age, this is. I think it's definitely one of the best uh, non barrel aged uh, Imperial Stars I've had, if not the best. So I'm gonna go 97. This is it's fucking. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, and it's one of those beers when you sit and drink them, you become kind of baffled because it just ping pongs everywhere and there's yeah. just so many things going on. But it has all every element of what a good style should be like. Yeah, but but it's a separate still. I mean, this is gonna take a little bit of time getting through. But awesome stuff. Uh, I'm I'm pretty close to you. I'm gonna go uh, 96. I was thinking 95 at first, but. Again, I, I don't really have anything in this I don't like, so <laughs> I like big, sweet kind of birth. I mean, it's not overt, it's, it's syrupy, but not overtly syrupy as you'd think uh, with like a big beer like this. Probably because of the age. But yeah, guys, that does it for the beer review of the Revelation Cat Black Knight. Huge Get that as mofo. <laughs> yeah, huge as beer, crazy stuff. Um, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're going to say cheers. Cheers. Well, <laughs> we're going to see you guys in the beer review.